All right, guys, I'm going to go over uh, some of the baits that I got in the lineup. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, some of the baits I got in the live or in the uh, Tackle Warehouse unboxing here. And I'm testing out the GoPro right now. Uh, right now, I'm using the 4K uh, 30 frames per second in the widescreen angle. So um, we'll see how it works. Right now, the GoPro is not in any case or anything, it's just out right now. Uh, I'm going to mess around with the audio and stuff, and um, there's a lot of stuff I'm still learning, so uh, give me some time, and uh, hopefully um, I'll get the hang of it here in a few. Uh, before, I couldn't figure out the focusing or whatnot, but I don't think it's because I didn't have the spot meter on, so everything looked kind of blurry, so we'll see how this looks on the computer. Right now, I'm just looking at it through my phone, but... Um, I'll give you guys some close-ups of these baits right here. Again, this is the Live Target Bait Ball. So here it is up close. You can see it has a school fish inside the bait. Jerk style bait. Just a natural color here. This one is Pearl Natural, four and one fourth inch, half ounce. Nice looking bait right there. See if you guys can get a better look of it right here. It always comes with really nice sharp hooks. The 110 size there shows on the bottom. So there's that one. And here's the other one, the smaller version. Go ahead and open that up for you. This one's a three and three fourth inch, three eighth ounce. This is just silver back or silver black. Really nice looking bait. Can't wait to get out and use it as soon as the ice thaws. This might be the first bait I'll be throwing is these two jerk baits right here. Really nice looking. And I'm hoping this is turning out okay. I'm not sure how the settings affect the camera at all because I'm not sure. But if anybody has the GoPros, uh, give me any tips on what settings I should use for fishing or whatnot to get the best view and picture and everything. Uh, right now I'm just using the high, high resolution and stuff just to see how it would look. Here's the live target sunfish. This thing looks sick, absolutely sick, so detailed. Again, this is going to be a top water bait, obviously, just like a hollow body frog. There's the weight underneath there. Uh, the one thing I could see affecting this bait are the top fins. Just by what I think, I think the hook, the hook point is going to stick into the fin that's raised, and creating holes, I think. We'll see but it's very soft. I, I barely need to push it down and the thing just goes down. And here's the other one, guys. This is the olive color sunfish. Very, very soft, guys. You wouldn't believe how soft these things are. I mean, I just barely touch it, and that thing just goes down with ease. Super sharp hooks. Very highly detailed. Just a nice overall bait. And here we're going to the BBZ1 Rat. This is the smallest of the sizes. Comes with an extra tail. Take it out. This is just in the brown color here. And I can't wait to throw this. I'll probably be picking up another one here soon. Uh, the size after this. I think it's a 5 inch one. I don't believe. 5 or 6 inches. I forget. This one's the around a 3 inch size. Um, 
I don't remember where it said now. But just a really nice looking bait. Can't wait to get out there and throw this when top water season starts. I always like the Spurl lineup. Just a really nice looking bait. Nice soft tail, and you have replacement tails. This one came with an extra brown one. And you can buy them separately too in a two pack for like five bucks, I think. Maybe it's less than that. Three dollars or something. This bait was, I think, $20, $22, something like that. And then the next size up is around $25, and then the full size one is $30, I believe. And the last bait here is this Beetle by Molex. I took one out of the package already earlier. And again, another really, really soft body bait. I was very surprised. Give you guys a view of it. See, there's some paint right here, actually, that seems like to be melted or whatnot. That black stream right there. Didn't see that before. Again, very soft. Barely had to press in. That thing just comes down. Kind of reminds me of the Spro plastic that's on their frogs. Well, probably a little softer. I can't wait to see how this works in the water. I think it's got like a cup on it, like a popper wood with this clear plastic right here on the mouth. I can't wait to see how that works. And the last color here, which is black and purple. Another nice looking bait. I love these things. I can't wait to try them out. They just look so sick. Hope to capture some really good footage with these. Um, yeah, guys, that's all the baits. Uh, let me know how this GoPro looks. Um, I'll try to look at it on my computer. It still doesn't look like it's focused as much, but it could just be my phone. I'm not sure. But um, if you guys have any... Uh, ideas or whatnot and settings that I should run my GoPro at just let me know um, I won't be filming out on the water in 4k just because it's gonna eat at the battery too fast and take out a lot of memory I mostly run probably 1080p usually and I'll probably run some 2.7k with it also so um, yeah that's it guys uh, let me know what you guys think and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon bye